So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We pull your hope you are doing well during this pandemic in your houses and hope you are safe. So welcome back to VSS and today I will be showing you another Lightroom preset hack. So it will be a Lightroom edit. I will be giving you all the dialers information, all the settings so you can and I will be giving you a free preset. So stick to the end of the video and I will be giving you free preset so you can just plug in in your Lightroom uh, mobile or Lightroom PC apps and uh, uh, you will just edit in just one click and you will get cinematic dreamy look so as you can see uh, screen, uh, photos running on the screen right now these are the edited photos so let's get started without any further ado and i will show you how to do it step by step and uh, if you are new to the channel please subscribe to it it keeps me motivated and i will be uh, giving free presets throughout the month so let's get started without any further ado So guys welcome back here we are in Lightroom so as you can see this is the Lightroom 2020 version and uh, uh, this edit or this preset will work in all the Lightroom version of uh, in mobile phone and in PC so we will be just importing the photos now and uh, we'll be Wait a second. Cinematic dreamy is the second one. Yep. So, guys, uh, these are the photos. Uh, as you can see, they are just importing now. So, there are total 23 photos, and uh, we will be applying two presets, two specific presets I have chosen for uh, this all photos and I will be giving you one preset uh, from that so I have various presets uh, as you can see I will be giving all the presets throughout this month and I have made already a video about it and I have given the uh, landscape uh, or a moody preset you can also put that preset in all the portrait photos so these are uh, almost uh, all portraits and there are uh, I mean one or two three landscape photos so it uh, uh, will apply to all the photos so there are two presets I will be uh, you know wait a second yeah so there are two photos uh, I will be uh, two presets I will be giving you today uh, cinematic dreamy uh, and cinematic so I will be giving only one uh, the cinematic if you want the cinematic dreamy uh, you can just comment down below and I will just add it to my drive uh, after some times if uh, many of uh, people just want it just comment down below if you want both of them so I will be just applying the cinematic uh, portrait cinematic and cinematic dreamy so these are the two presets we will be working today all the other presets I will be giving you uh, throughout this month in all the other videos so we will just add it uh, so we will be uh, starting from the last photo so as you can see this is the photo of a lady i will just uh, increase and uh, guys all these photos are uh, not owned by me all these photos or these presets i have just downloaded from internet so that i am just giving uh, i'm just giving it uh, for uh, your purpose and uh, let's get started with our editing so i will be just giving this uh, cinematic dreamy so as you can see it looks so good in this photo cinematic the all the golden hour looks so as you can see the raw photo is not that good but it has a little bit of sunshine over here and there and when i add a cinematic dreamy it looks a little yellowish look to it the cinema look we will be uh, seeing in this presets and the first uh, cinematic dreamy is this and the second cinematic is this so as you can see there are there is difference between two cinematics uh, this cinematic has a little fade to it and uh, this cinematic has a little yellowish to it so i will be just keeping this photo and uh, there uh, the presets i am giving you all in this video or any other video so keep a note guys that uh, thus this presets may or may not look good in your photos it uh, changes according to the photo the all the settings changes according to photo so you have to just uh, uh, have a little knowledge about all the dialers in this uh, highlight shadows all the stuff cause uh, you have to just you know sometimes uh, the presets doesn't look good and uh, you will blame the presets but that's not the case 
uh, sometimes you have to just adjust the highlights a little bit, the shadows a little bit. So that's the thing. So I will be just look go look go around and uh, found uh, how I may uh, how I will uh, make this photo look a little good. So I will just increase a little bit contrast so uh, it will be a little sharper. The highlights is uh, I guess perfect for me. But I will increase a little bit. The shadows are so very good. I will just increase a little bit of whites. So as you can see the tone curve is also there and uh, I will be giving you uh, cinematic, uh, we will just see uh, if uh, maximum photos uh, use uh, the cinematic, uh, looks good in cinematic dreamy, I will be giving you cinematic dreamy or the cinematic and uh, I will be only one uh, if you want, you can just comment down below, I will uh, afterwards, um, after one week I will add the second one also, so it's uh, up to you. And we will just edit the second photo now. So this is the second photo. And uh, as you can see, this is the cinematic portrait. And this is cinematic dreamy. As you can see, the cinematic dreamy and the cinematic uh, is uh, actually very different kind of uh, photo. It's according to your will, you how you uh, want to edit your photos. So for some people, the fade look uh, will look good uh, for you in your photos. And some, like me, I have... Uh, I like fade but according to now the dream will look so good in this all the photos I will just increase the light little bit here cause it looks a little dark and I will just increase a little bit contrast to you know just punch up the photo so as you can see it looks good this is the before and this is the after and I will just show you this photo this is the before and this is the after as you can see the gold look on this photo looks so good so we will edit all the other photos so this is the cinematic and this is the cinematic dreamy so as you can see in this photo i think cinematic looks good cause uh, the greens in here i uh, actually i don't uh, like i don't hate them but i don't like the little yellowish green i just like this green so I'm just keeping it here and uh, as you can see if you want you can just change all the uh, settings from here uh, that you can change the tone curve so I will be just uh, increasing uh, decreasing the fade look a little uh, less because I have, yeah so it's look good and as you can see this is the before and this is the after you can see we uh, it has changed her skin tone also so we will just edit the photos uh, this, third photo fourth photo now so this is a cinematic this is a and a cinematic dreamy is here so in this photo as you can see there is a difference between cinematic and uh, cinematic dreamy so i will be just uh, sticking with cinematic dreamy here and uh, in this photo also cinematic dreamy cinematic so in this photo actually cinematic dreamy gives a little yellowish tone more so i'm just uh, not uh, on the cinematic dreamy in this photo i'm just giving cinematic so as you can see it looks so good in this photo all the stuff as you can see her face looks so good you can just uh, you know edit out this blemishes on all if you want i can show you a little faster so as you can just you have to just click it once it will be gone forever from your photo so as you can see we have just edited all the blemishes from her nose area all the stuff so as you can see it looks so good and we will be editing uh, more one two three four five six seven eight and 9 10 we will just editing 10 to 12 photos now because we have to just apply the presets so as uh, i can see i can just put uh, the cinematic over here because cinematic looks good in this photo and uh, in this photo is also cinematic dreamy oh uh, it's looking good the cinematic is also looking good it's according to you whatever you want to choose so, so 
this photo looks very good in both the terms. Uh, the cinematic remake gives a little golden ass to it. Uh, and the cinematic uh, also gives a little cinema look to it. It's according to you how you wanna see the photos. So this is the landscape. Uh, these two are the landscape photos and I will be editing this and show you how uh, this actually these are for portrait uh, presets but there is nothing wrong with using the portrait or landscape for uh, presets or, uh, on the other uh, photos John rows of the photos but uh, it according to you whatever suits you, you have to do it as you can see the cinematic looks it does a little bit work but it looks like it doesn't uh, do anything so I will just apply it and in this photos also as you can see it uh, brings up the fadeness and the darkness both and the cinematic dreamy looks a little bit uh, brownish so i don't like it you can just edit uh, as you can see how easily i am editing with all the preset of course you have i have all the knowledge about uh, this uh, dialers and all that's why i'm uh, the presets are actually for your help so you have to uh, work smart but you have also have you know the knowledge of Lightroom so we have to just apply the presets that's all as you can see some of the photos look so good if you are a portrait photographer or uh, fashion or landscape photographer doesn't make any sense cause this presets will look in all the terms good so you have to just click on that preset to apply this uh, on your photos so as you can see it's this is a normal good photo and uh, the cinematic looks so good in this and this is also a good photo cinematic dreamy looks good the cinematic looks good So guys these are our edited, edited photos so, so these are all befores and afters so I will be giving this uh, cinematic dreamy look uh, cinematic dreamy uh, as an uh, down, uh, to download you presets so I will be giving the link in the description of my drive so you can download it from there and uh, Hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share it with all your friends and like the video also and comment down below if you want the second cinematic also and uh, how you like the video and uh, subscribe to my channel for, and uh, I will be giving free presets throughout this month. So stick to the channel and uh, watch uh, all the videos and I am I also do digital art content so watch that also if you have time and uh, you can visit also my Instagram for a quick instant of what I do. The, all the links are in the description. So up till now guys keep creating thing big and peace out.